Okay, in this video we like to show you how to go from a Rhino drawing directly into Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so I have an example uh, file right here that's like a 10x10 10 10 room with a door and walls and a few little shapes in here. Uh, what we want to do is to take this image and the idea is to bring it directly into Illustrator for uh, putting together your presentation boards. Okay? So first, after you created your drawing in Illustrator, you could do it through a model that you made in three dimensions and then you made, made, make 2D so that uh, you have a floor plan or elevation or section or whatever. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is to assign, a, assign each one its own uh, line weight or or layer okay that way when it goes into Illustrator you could change just the layers and then uh, then you don't have to select each individual lines okay so what we're gonna have to do is determine what line is what so in the layers layers panel um, all these lines are drawn in default so we could change the layer to layer one or whatever you want to name it you want to want to name it uh, super thick maybe another layer might be named thick another one might be named whoops another one might be named medium maybe okay medium. Another one might be named thin. And perhaps last one super thin. Okay. Uh, it's whatever whatever layers that you want to name it. So if you want to name it by its own uh, layer uh, line weight already like 0.1 or 0.2 or 0.3 or whatever you could do it that way too but i'm just going to name this um just super thick thick thin and such uh so let's just say that the walls could be in the super thick layer okay and maybe the door is in the medium layer so we'll put that in the medium layer. And let's see, maybe the this line, the arc of the wall arc of the door could be a th thin layer. Okay, so we'll put that as a thin layer. Okay. And now we have three line thickness. Maybe these guys I'll put it into the super thin layer. Okay, these things are just whatever it is, I don't I don't know, but uh we just want to put this on so that uh, we have something to work with on later. Okay, so notice that this drawing is starting at 0, 0, 0 origin point. See that? Okay, so that's what we want to have. Because if we don't, if we have this somewhere out in space somewhere, uh, what, when we export this to, to Illustrator, uh, Illustrator will put the paper space or the artboard right there at zero comma zero comma zero. So what we want to do is to bring our drawing as close to zero comma zero comma zero as possible. So you can go ahead and move this thing, <coughs> move, and then we select a point and then just type in zero comma zero, and that's a good sure way of getting everything to the zero uh, origin. Okay.